Hey folks, happy Vita. I'm so glad that you guys have stuck with me through this month so far. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about some things that I'm really nostalgic about uh, having to do with uh, the church that I grew up in and the churches that I grew up in, I suppose. Um, I mostly grew up in the Christian Reformed Church or the Reformed Church of America, so they're very similar, like, subdivisions of each other, if that makes sense. Um, it's very different from the church that I'm going to now and have been going to for the past year or so. There are a handful of things that I really, really miss from the more traditional churches that I grew up in. So I wanted to take just a couple minutes to talk about what some of those things are and why I miss them. The first thing that I really miss is hymns and kind of music in more traditional churches in general. Um, my sister always really liked having an organ in church and I kind of do too. I don't miss the organ in particular, but I do miss hymns. I feel like a lot of contemporary worship is really elementary. Hymns are a little bit of a higher level of um, thinking. They... And the reason for that, at least as I understand it, is that hymns were kind of the way of teaching people ideas and stories of the Bible. So they had to go a little bit deeper than just like, praise him, praise him. Not that there's anything wrong with like just straight worship and really simple um, worship ideas. Um, and I really do connect to worship and the way that music is now. I really do enjoy it. It just feels really simple compared to the hymns and the types of music that I grew up in. Which brings me to my second point, which is church choir. I've started singing in a community choir here in LA and I really, really love that that is an option to me that I'm able to go into that and to do that. I was in high school when I joined my church's small choir. It was probably about like 12 or 14 people and we didn't do anything like crazy complicated. It was just like some next level kind of hymns. Church choir is what introduced me to more complicated music and it wasn't even that the music itself was that complicated, but it introduced me to how to layer different voice parts and how to follow along with the music proper. The other really big thing that I miss a lot is some of the more ritual um, and like seasonal holiday things. The very traditional services that happen within these spaces, I really, really miss seeing those. A lot of the churches that I've gone to here in Los Angeles, uh, even the church that I go to now, they don't really do Lent services. They don't really do, like, they'll do a Good Friday service, but it won't be the more traditional Tenebrae service. I really miss Advent. Um, and having an advent wreath, an advent calendar, and that's something sort of that, that some people do anyway. They'll have like chocolate advent calendars, but it's really not the same as like advent services in church. Um, the like advent wreaths in churches where you have like the, you do a reading and you sing a song and you light a candle and like it feels really stuffy in some ways, but it's also like, I find it really, really comforting that it's like, 
this is a thing that we do every year. This is a thing that we do to honor the larger pieces that are at work in our lives. I feel like a lot of places are ignoring traditions because they think that people don't want them. And I definitely understand the impulse to want to create your own traditions. And I don't even have a problem with creating your own traditions. I think that that's really cool and that that can be a really great place for churches to step in and turn something that maybe has been abused in the past into something that is really meaningful for them and for their, uh, for their patrons. But the thing that really annoys me is when people say things like, oh, we don't need those traditions because they're like, they're stale or they, they don't mean anything. And that, honestly, that kind of like, honestly, that's a little hurtful because the traditions of the church do mean something to me. And I understand that I'm like, I'm not everyone. I know that. I know that I'm not representative of the entire body of the church. But I also can't help but think that I'm not the only person who really loves these traditions. So, yeah. To be honest, I didn't realize this was going to get so deep. Um, <laughs> I love the churches that I've gone to here in LA. I especially love the church family, the spiritual family that I have at the church that I've been going to really regularly here. I just also really miss some of the more traditional aspects of the churches that I grew up in. Um, and that's okay. So there you go. Those are some nostalgic things that I miss about church and some maybe slightly problematic things that I think are missing from some of the churches that I've been to here in Los Angeles. Um, here's to hoping that doesn't get me into trouble. <laughs> um, Happy Vita, everybody. I hope that you get a chance to do something that you love today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.